Our main event, uh, February 5th, is uh, Texas product Malik Lewis versus a Brazilian Giovanni Parsa. Is he gonna be able to defeat Malik and progress as a fighter, or is Malik gonna be able to defeat him and then take one step closer to his goals? Malik Lewis out of Texas, he's uh, got a lot of hype around him right now. They say he's about two to three fights away from uh, going to the UFC, some say less than that. Uh, he's signed with Iridium, and then he signed a uh, five-fight contract with us, so we'll see what happens. There's a lot of hype behind him, and uh, he's impressive, and he's just got to get through this next fight, which is a tough fight for me. Giovanni is uh, hes a very tough kid. He's out of Brazil. He's coming here trying to make a name for himself in America. He's four and two out of Brazil. Exciting fighter. Throws wild, crazy strikes, spinning elbows, spinning back kicks. He's throwing everything at you. He's very exciting to watch, and uh, I'm excited to have him part of our organization, and we'll see how he does uh, February 5th against a tough opponent, Malik Lewis. I'm training at Genesis Jiu-Jitsu in uh, River Oaks, Texas. Uh, Mark will be there with me, Mark De La Rosa, Eric Sands, one of the best wrestling coaches in Texas. Um, great coaches, and we're ready for whatever. Camp is going extremely well for Malik at this point in time. Um, his weight's good, I mean, he's very talented, so he's just ready to go. He's always grinding, he's always in the gym. He eats, breathes, and sleeps this MMA game, so it's going really, really well for him. I see. I think it's one of the best camps I've been a part of with him, so it's it's going accordingly, peaking at the right times. My goal with MMA is to go to the UFC, absolutely, and get paid. I mean, I want to fight the best. I want to be known as one of the best. I want to everything I've worked hard for. I want it to be recognized. I see this fight going however Malik wants it to go. If Malik wants to take three rounds, he will. If he wants to take it one round, he will. Uh, Malik is uh, super athletic. Um, he's a well-rounded fighter. He can strike. People think he's a striker, but little do they know his wrestling's good. His jujitsu's good. He's got some tricks up his sleeves. So I feel like this fight's gonna go anywhere he wants it to go, and he's gonna end it however he wants to. It just doesn't matter. This is Malik's fight across the board. It could be a war. That's how I always see it. I always prepare for wars. I go and watch the craziest, most outlandish fights, the, the ones that you watch and you're like cringing and they're painful, and that's what I train for. The UFC is right there for him. It's, it's in his reach. So with this win, it's just going to put his stock higher and uh, make him a higher prospect. I don't. I personally don't expect him to be taking too many more regional fights, so I think after this fight it's, it's pretty much um, short notice or contender series at this point in time for him. It's, it's coming. Every fighter I ever fight, I always build them up to be like a Khabib in my head, so that when I go out there, if they're not Khabib, it's going to be real easy, and if they are Khabib, I was preparing for it. His mentality is uh, you can't break him, he's going to break you. And if you do get off something, a decent combo, he's gonna come back with, you hit him with four, he's coming back with 15. It's not many fighters out there like that. And if they are, they're in the highest level UFC, which we all know he's gonna reach that level, so. I see this fight going like one or two way. Either he's gonna be the real deal and it's gonna be a war, I'm gonna come out on top, or he bit off a little bit more and he could chew, and it's not gonna end uh, very well for him. What really matters is who wants it the most, who's going to be the, sm the smartest fighter, and uh, who's going who's gonna to grind it out, who's going who's gonna to put their hands up, their chin down, walk forward, and who's going to be the gangster of the night, um, who's not going to back down. I, I don't care if this guy comes from AKA with Daniel Cormier. It, it doesn't matter, man. At the end of the day, we're fighters. We come to fight. You can go to one of the biggest name gyms in the nation. That doesn't mean nothing. 
what matters is who wants it more. And this guy doesn't want it more than Malik. I can, I can promise you that. It's going to be uh, my time, February 5th, guaranteed. Então, eu sou da cidade de Araquari, é Santa Catarina, né? Brasil. Então, para mim, isso tudo é, é muito bom. Eu tô, tô muito feliz aí pela essa oportunidade que, tá, que eu recebi. E vem acontecendo tantas coisas que, nesse momento aí, que eu vou abraçar essa oportunidade e vou sair com mais essa vitória. Eu posso falar que eu tô treinando hoje com os melhores é, profissionais, melhores mestres. É, das artes marciais, então eu estou muito confiante por ter feito um ótimo camp aqui na melhor academia da América Top Team. Então, as coisas aconteceram de uma forma muito natural e estou muito feliz com o meu treinamento, como eu tinha falado, estou muito feliz com o meu mestre, mestre Macarrão, mestre Catel, Parrumpa e toda a equipe, né, meus amigos de treino. É, foi feito um ótimo trabalho. Estou bem confiante e esperando a hora de dar o show no, no evento. Eu acho que é, ele tem que cuidar muito com, com o brasileiro jiu-jitsu. E isso aí está no sangue do, do brasileiro. Nós vamos para cima. A nossa estratégia é, é chegar lá, botar pressão, é, tentar imprimir o jogo, o nosso jogo que a gente planejou aqui, que a gente treinou. E, terminar a luta o quanto antes. É, o cartel dele está 100% positivo, mas até então eu acredito que não foi nenhuma luta fenomenal que ele fez. Lutas todas é, muito tranquilo. Então até no momento isso para mim não, não me afeta em nada. Eu tenho que parabenizar ele pela, pela, por essa oportunidade de também estar tá podendo lutar, é, mas que ele saiba que ele vai ter, ter uma, uma grande luta pela frente. É um, um oponente que, que não vai ser fácil para ele, porque até então ele não teve uma, uma verdadeira luta. February 5th, uh, Texarkana gets to see a guy that's one or two fights away from the UFC or another guy that's one or two fights away from the UFC. So it's an exciting fight for Texarkana. Like I said, February 5th, Texarkana Arkansas Convention Center. Tickets at peakfighting.com. Um, you know, tickets move fast, especially the ones people are really interested in. So go ahead and get your tickets. Uh, we'll have a pre-fight press conference Friday night, February 4th. We'll also have face-offs at the Mighty Crab. Come out, eat, meet some of these fighters, get some autographs from some of, some of the fighters and their coaches that are in the UFC at the Mighty Crab. Uh, we'll be there at 4 p.m. Uh, Friday, uh, February 4th.